sa, parang isa sa mga challenging scenes siguro ang dami niyong mga love scenes dito, di ba? Doon sa mga uh, filmmaker na, na, na after you take the drugs, nagkaroon kayo ng group sex. How was it? <laughs> Paano niyo ginawa yun? Kano kahirap? Kano ka... Kano kayo nagtakipan? Mga <laughs> ganun, di ba? So how was the preparation and that? Yung mga nandun sa yung filmmakers na nag-group sex. First with uh, Ali, siguro. Um, siguro po, before namin i-shoot yun, um, nag-orient muna si Direk Fred at si Direk Brillante kung ano yung mga dapat gawin po namin. And after nun, um, uh, yun, tingin ko naman um, protected din naman kami ng center stage production and at the same time, mga professional naman po yung mga kasama namin. So, yun po. Um, this was the first that I've ever had a group sex on cam and off cam. <laughs> um, but um, I would say, nonetheless, it's still really crazy and overwhelming. But it really helps that everybody that was in that scene, we were really close with and we were we had all a good relationship with. So we all knew boundaries. We were all friends. And partner ko si Ali. Kami din naman nag-beef kami prior to that. Anong pwede, anong bawal. So that really helps a lot. Maybe look with answer us. How was the how was the orgy? Okay. Uh, well. <laughs> well. <laughs> it was good. Um, no. So the orgy scene was um, expected um, when when uh, the movie was first introduced to me. Uh, it was known that there would be an orgy scene where um, whether whether you were paying proper attention or not, um, you might have noticed that there is a man-to-man -man kissing scene during that shot. Um, and if you didn't notice, then you should probably watch the movie again. Um, but I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Um, I'm comfortable enough in my sexuality to be able to do that. Um, and we laughed about it afterwards because stubble. Um, but no, it was... It, it's just acting in the end and as long as you can you know be comfortable with the rest of your cast and really remember that it is an act you know we are we are artists we are portraying a role and we keep the the emotions as far away from that as possible to not make things complicated i think you're the prettiest among them <laughs> well, of showing your. Uh, I, I was told. I was told I'm a very uh, carefree person. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yun po, I agree with what everyone else said. Na pag comfortable ka with your co-actors, it really does make the job much easier. And we were very lucky that we had good rapport and naging close po talaga kami even off cam, even with the production people. It was just a great experience po talaga. Yosef, saan sa matapang? Hi. Um, actually, sobrang masayang scene na yun, no? Because like, Tuwing nagka-cut sila direct, nagtatawanan lang kami. And na uh, heads up naman naman ni Direk sa mangyayari dun sa scene na yun, no? So, um, of course, I had to give in because it's Direk Fred, Direk Dante, no? So, ayun, all you have to do is just trust your 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 co-actors, the production, and everything. You know, they kept it um, very intimate lang, kami-kami lang talaga yung nandun. We're very, very well protected, naman. So yeah, it was really fun. Let's <laughs> Jessica. Uh, I would say na hindi naman siya ganun ka struggle for us, kasi well to think about it, na talaga. But when we were there, as I said, parang hindi naman siya ganun kahirap, kasi we were already so comfortable with each other, and also um, we were working in a closed set, so. Protectado naman kami. So, yeah. Kasi, ano, na-amaze ako na yung parang majority kasi sa inyo first time ko nakita. Na-amaze ako na nung nakita ko kayo sa screen kasi parang magkaiba. So, parang feeling ko magkaiba yung character, na-differentiate talaga yung character versus sa kayo in person. So, natutuwa ako for that.
And yung question ko is, um, one question for everyone. What part of your character initially you were crazy about, but you had that high feeling when you were portraying? Love. Let me start with love. Come look at me. Um, well, I think just how much I could relate to my character in the beginning. I mean, I've been in the Philippines a few years now, and my character was brand new to the Philippines, so all I had to do was relate to how I felt back then, when I was brand new, didn't know enough about the culture, Still don't really know the language, apologies for that. But um, definitely the, the relation to my ca character is what definitely drew me forward and made me excited to kind of portray that as best I could in order to show everyone on screen just how isolating it can be to be a foreigner. We, we often put them on a pedestal because all foreigner in our country will treat them really well, but it doesn't stop us from often feeling lonely as well. It's really a little bit of a sad point there, but uh, thank you. We were not lonely with your performance. Congrats, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello po. Sa akin naman, wala akong masyadong marilate eh, kasi sa auntie lang din naman po yung scenes ko doon. But, um, na-hype ako doon sa kung paano ka, gaano ka uh, gusto mag-explore with friends. Yun lang naman yung nare-relate sa akin. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sa akin po, thank you po sa question. Um, sa akin po, um, siguro, magkaiba kasi ako, magkaiba ako sa personal. I, I mean, sa si Orius tsaka si Ali, magkaiba talaga. So, for me, um, siguro masasabi ko na talagang hindi ko pa na-experience na being wild kagaya ni Orius. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ako naman, I feel like I'm very similar to my character. Nang slight lang ah. <laughs> um, but I would say one thing that really excited me was how non-attached Kathy was. Kasi ako marupok ako eh, mabilis ako ma-attach. Hindi ko kaya yung ano, wala-wala lang, ganyan. So ang cute lang na I get to experience sa character na parang easy-easy lang with everything in life, ganyan. My favorite part about Tanette was the fact that she's the calming entity of the group. In parang pag yung iba nagwawala na siya, yung nag-remind na, Hey guys, let's calm down. Tapusin natin to. I really like that about her. <laughs> For Eric naman ako, I really enjoyed learning how to handle the camera, yung mga different shots. No? Um, I've always... Um, not that I dreamed of, but I've always wanted to learn, like handling a camera, talaga. Because, siempre I'm in this industry, na rin, might as well, diba, know some knowledge about it. So along the way, with the help of the yeah, direct, sila Jao, direct Dante, you know, dami kong questions yun about the camera, kung paano, ano ba yung mga tamang terms and stuff like that. So, dun ako na excited kay Eric. Hello po. Ako yung pinaka-favorito kong part. Siguro yung pinag-awayan ako ng dalawang lalaki. <laughs> joke lang. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang yun. <laughs> Char lang po. No, it was the dance. Yung dance ng Banyan Tribe yung pinaka-favorito kong part. Thank you. <laughs> ano? Wala, ano? <laughs> <laughs> For me, what's really exciting about um, being Joyce is how much I can relate to her. Because si Joyce, kasi she's very shy, very reserved, and lumalabas lang yung wild side niya whenever she's intoxicated or with the company of her friends. So, yun. Si yun naman dito, si Edmund naman boys, hindi naman po nagkakalayo sa Bali ko boys. Napakabait naman po siya. Laga ah! Laga tsada! Roldan ah! Bae si Chad! 
<laughs> playing as Jay, the whole character, his whole character is exciting because he's into drugs and into sex. That's his whole thing right there. So, what a dull moment playing as Jay. Because, did I your mic said. Oh, yeah. congrats! I love the eloquence. I feel like it's cheap when you're being portrayed as sexy. It's like an elevate. Congratulations! The most interesting thing that you've learned doing this film, considering that you know, tackles so many things like culture, drugs, sex, violence. Anyway, so again, can we just start from there? Um, for me, since it's my first movie, I guess just working without a script was very challenging and overwhelming. Um, good thing that I have a um, good relationship with my castmates, so the batuhan and everything felt very real. It flow. So that was a very um, interesting part for me in filming this. <laughs> Um, for me, I would say that it's important to have um, a good rapport with your with your uh, no, co-actors and of course have trust in the production because of the sensitive scenes that we will be shooting. So, ayun, kailangan talaga important yun. Uh, hello po, good evening. To answer the question, uh, isa sa mga bagay na natutunan ko sa film was during VO, ito ni Joseph, na may mga filmmakers pala tayo, either international or local, na especially Viva Max, na very sexy yung genre, that we are not just showing our body, but we are showing kung ano yung totoo kung ano yung totoong nangyayari sa, sa mundo. Kasi sex, okay, let's just sex, normal naman yan. So, yun isa sa mga natutunan ko. Yung pangalawa na natutunan ko was uh, drugs. Huwag mong abusuhin kasi it might kill you. Lalo na kung sobrang addict ka. At yung pangatlo na natutunan ko is huwag mong baguhin yung mga bagay na kung ano na yung nangyayari especially dun sa character namin na banyan na in this generation very modern na pala na hindi na namin uh, ginagamit yung lumang tradition but that doesn't mean na hindi na namin sila dapat gawin we still appreciate it at pinabalikan pa rin namin as tribe yun po yung mga natutunan ko sa film na to and lastly at add ko na lang baka makarelate din yung iba. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang fear and uh, may mga imaginations tayo. So, we don't have the right to judge that. Kasi lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang ganun eh. Diba? Fear and everything. Hallucinations. Na kinakatakutan. Thank you. Hello po. So, um, basically, ako, for me, and my opinion, um, may line ako dun sa movie na sinabi ko, as filmmakers, we are obliged to tell the truth, no? But as we all know, sad reality, a lot of people who shoot docus or any type of movie na ganun, they don't always tell the truth. There's always some twists behind it, you know, just to make them look better or to make the movie more interesting. But, and we we live in a world full of lies. Thank you. Uh, para sa akin po, the most interesting part of the filming filmmaking process for this one was learning about creating films because it's also something I'd like to dive into in the future and this was kind of a first step for me to feel more involved with the process of making films and yeah, very enjoyable one. Um, I'm very new to this whole showbiz thing so I guess one key thing that I really got um, overwhelmed with is 
Dirk Brillante's no script method. Um, but one key lesson was to really have good rapport and chemistry with their castmates off gown because it really shows on gown. But one lesson that I did get in the film is it's not really just about the action, but it's also about the intention behind it. Because what's the thesis about truth when you don't show the truth? Loto, siguro isang bagay na natutunan ko, especially dito sa film, film talaga, is appreciate kung sino yung mga nasa likod ng film talaga. Kasi ang hirap eh, hindi siya ganun kadali. So sa lahat po ng mga film sa likod nun, uh, na-appreciate po namin kayo. And thank you po. Hello, hello po. Um, ang natutunan ko naman dito is yung... Uh, kahalagahan ng mga filmmakers natin. Kasi di ba yung iba nila lang ng filmmakers. But as you can see sa film, makikita nyo yung hirap. Kahit hindi naman ganon, exactly yung nangyayari. Yung hirap, yung compassion, yung imagination nila. It's it full of ano, talent. So ayun, yun yung na yung na appreciate ko dito sa film na to. Yung talent ng bawat filmmakers natin. Hello po, thank you. Hello everyone. Um, well, being the last, last one in the line, I think everything else has already been said at this point. Um, but I would just like to, to reiterate that uh, working scriptless, you have to work on the basis of method acting. You need to really become your character. Uh, this can make it very hard to separate yourself from that character, especially when you're not, uh, not being filmed. But at the same time, you need to really, as people have said, um, connect with your with your fellow cast members, the production crew. You really need to trust everyone in what they're doing, especially in the industry, um, which has also been mentioned. You know, a lot of sexy scenes, um, a concept that isn't always so widely accepted. So it is very important to just trust people and be open and honest with everyone. Thank you.